I think it's really, really important to look at whatever venture you're starting and to look past making any money from it. Um, that, that's got to be down the line. You've got to believe in what you do and, and bring value into the world. And you've got to really like flirt with that line of, is this viable? Can I keep going at break even, making the thing how I want it to be made? For us, that's the quality ingredients that we put into our products. Um, it's, it would be very easy um, to put in cheaper, less quality ingredients, but it wouldn't be something that we were, we were proud of. So can we make Quiver the way we want to make it? And can we do it again and again and, and truly believe in what we're doing? So how did Quiver come about? I was living in Los Angeles and my brother had his uh, six cafes out here in Western Mass, two in Boston. And I'd worked with him on and off throughout uh, business school, as well as um, during the summers, and we had always loved working together. So the conversation sort of evolved where he, he asked me to move back to the East Coast and run operations for his cafes. And so we played around with uh, some of the coffees and some of the teas that we wanted to, to make a beverage with and Quiver was born. For me, it was a no-brainer uh, opportunity, professionally and personally, to come back to the East Coast and, and work really closely with my brother Mukunda. Being recognized as a young entrepreneur in the Amherst area made me realize that we're doing something that people are noticing, we're doing something that's worthwhile, we're doing something that's benefiting the community, and hopefully that's as inspiring at some level to some of the other young entrepreneurs out there. I've been living and working around here for more than 12 years now, and it's just really, really cool to see. We see a lot of the people from um, the area, a lot of people from the chamber come by for coffee here and it's nice to see everybody sort of pulling together and the work that the Amos downtown does and the bid and the Chamber of Commerce has been really, really special in supporting small businesses and so to be a part of, of the award this year means a great deal. Okay, and how much is that going to spray? Is it going to get on stuff? No, no, I can do it so it's not going to spray. spray okay, yeah, do that. Cool. Well, you got to try a quiver before you leave. Uh, we trademark shake hard, pour fast. Um, basically, if you just crack the can without shaking it, it'll be like a still cold brew. But if you shake it a little bit and then pour it fast into a glass, you break the nitrogen out of solution and you get that really creamy mouthfeel, that texture with no sugar or dairy. It's a bit of a shake. Tricks to open it slowly so it doesn't spray too, too bad. And then we'll pour it fast here. Hopefully catch a little bit of a cascade. Can you see that there? Cool. Looks like they've done that once or twice. Cheers. That's really good. Can't tell that that's decaf, huh? No, that's really good. Hmm. I don't know. You might be able to use a part of that clip.